As I sit in isolation, sipping my regular cup of evening tea, my mind wanders all the way back to that one perfect past. The past where I held your hand through dust and danger, only now to be cast aside like that little teddy bear you once never separated from your heart. I still remember taking that tender baby you into my arms for the first time, dreaming of your journey into teenage and then to adulthood, seeing myself as a part of your life, although just a voiceless watcher, at least a part. I still remember visualizing our future together, you chasing your dreams and me supporting you in whatever little ways I could be of help. And of course, I still remember how many times I had to keep teaching you the same concepts before your exams. Sadly, only now to realize that I have failed to teach you humanity. I would have never expected that you would find useless this heart that loved you and this hand that fed. But unfortunately, fate is the master and I'm its helpless servant. Maybe the fault was all mine to put your needs before my own. Maybe the fault was all mine to focus more on what you wanted instead of focusing on what was right. And maybe the fault was all mine to love you so much that you grew into this person who loves no one but their own self. Funny, isn't it? How one's priorities change as easily as leaves change their color. As I think of this reality where I am as unwanted as a stray dog, and this reality where my last rites would most likely be performed by someone I do not even know. Often, I find myself wondering how you could transform so much from tracing my footsteps to ignoring my existence. Now I ponder inside myself if only I had realized earlier the importance of getting my priorities right. I perhaps wouldn't have been in situation at all. Ill-treated, left alone and forgotten. But despite all that you did, I still genuinely pray that you never end up in a state like mine. Homeless, hopeless, unhappy, and soon unknown. No matter how much you pain me, and no matter how many times you dismiss my existence, I still sincerely hope from the deepest corners of my heart that your children end up nothing like you. Perhaps wishing your company is my life and sending me to oblivion. Yours, as I shall pass away someday shortly, alone, with none to call my own.